Here's a quick tip for you guys. If you're running a hydraulic throwout bearing, you have to have a gap between the face of the bearing and the fingers of your clutch pressure plate. The gap is there so that as the clutch wears and those fingers, which act like levers, move out towards the bearing, there's enough space there for this thing to fully release, but you don't want too much space, okay? Otherwise, you might end up over-traveling the bearing. So, what we're gonna do here is determine the air gap, and then we're gonna try to set it to about 150 thousandths. Step one, put a straight edge across the bell housing and measure down to the fingers of the clutch pressure plate. All right, so in our case, the distance from the highest point of the finger down to the edge of our ruler is four inches, 195 thousandths, minus an inch for the thickness of the ruler. So remember, we measured it from there to there. You have to subtract the ruler. So it's three inches, 195 thousandths. Now we're gonna install our hydraulic throwout bearing. This one came from American Powertrain. It works really good. We're gonna install this in our transmission and we're gonna measure from the face of the transmission, which would mount here, back to the face of the bearing. You subtract those two measurements, there should be a gap there, somewhere between 100 and 150 thousandths is ideal. You don't want less, you don't want more. So let's go to the trans now. This is our GeForce G5R clutch assisted five speed trans. This is the adapter that came from American Powertrain for the Hydromax throw out bearing. And these are shims that go behind it, which allow us to adjust our air gap. So we have four in there now. These shims are about 90 thousandths of an inch thick each one. We're gonna put our straight edge against the face of the bearing, just like we did over there. And then we're gonna measure from the bearing to where the bell housing bolts. Okay. And subtracting the thickness of the ruler, this is three inches, 145 thousandths. Which means if we had three inches, 195 thousandths there, we've only got about 50 thousandths of an inch air gap here. Now, when we originally put this together, we had it at 150 thousandths, but we've got probably about a thousand miles on that clutch and a whole bunch of hole shots at the drag strip. It's worn, and like I said, as the clutch wears, the fingers come out towards the bearing. So we're gonna pull a shim here. We're gonna measure one more time here. And this should get us right about where we need to be. Okay, and now we are at three inches 70 thousandths. So if you track three inches 195 from three inches 70, that's about 120 thousandths of an inch. Perfect, we'll roll with that. So we'll leave this shim out, slam this thing back together. Now when you do this, if you give it 100 to 150 thousandths of an inch, as the clutch wears, you don't have to take the trans out right away. Um, it's only in upstream circumstances where you have to actually take the trans back out and readjust. Like I said, we've got a bunch of laps on that clutch and a whole lot of street driving. So now that the trans is out, we service the motor, we're just gonna pull this one shim, put it back together and we'll be good to go for a long time. Now here's another tip. This Hydromax throughout bearing right now is fully compressed and that's important. You want this fully compressed when you make the measurements. There's some other ones out there, stock type ones that um, other companies use where the face of the bearing is actually spring loaded. So you have to compress it before you do these measurements. This one, you don't have to do that. We are ready to reassemble. 